Welcome back to my Attack of the Radioactive Thing Easter Egg Tutorial Playlist. Now, what you want to do is, is you want to kill your last zombie in this round and go ahead and start the next round. Now, if you're following me step by step, then you will probably be at a bonus round. This is why you want to make sure you go ahead and get tough weapons because in this bonus round, they're actually going to spawn in a huge super croc in the next round. Now this round will just be the normal crocs and you can you know get rid of those easily. Those aren't even that tough. But when the next zombie round starts in, they're gonna spawn in a super croc. And that thing is a problem if you don't have a tough weapon, so make sure you have a decent weapon for that portion. Uh, the, this round is pretty simple, like I said, just shoot the zombies, and I mean shoot the, the crocs. And now since you have a couple of perks, you got tough weapons, they're really a joke. Uh, so you get this round knocked out pretty easily. And when the next round starts, what we're going to do is, is we're going to try to focus on meleeing the zombies with the battery packs because we really, I mean with the book bags, because we really need to get a battery. Um, it's problematic and it's time consuming, but we have to get this step done. So don't just go crazy killing all your zombies. I wouldn't kill any zombies unless they're backpack zombies. Uh, but right now, when this round first starts, you wanna be cautious because they are gonna spawn in that big crop. So just train your zombies up, try to keep them together. And once they spawn in the big crop, you wanna try to get as much space between you and it as possible, and then damage it, damage it, damage it, damage it. Now, when it lifts its head up and the little antenna on, above its head, you don't want to be looking at it because it will temporarily flash you. And it is absolutely frustrating. You can't sprint. You can't even move around like you want to. Uh, be cautious of the little mini crocs that they spawn in. Uh, it's not a problem. Just while you're fighting this large super croc, then uh, the radioactive thing will occasionally shoot in another mini croc, but it's not an issue. And I have my Titan with me, so that thing is going to get annihilated quickly. Now, once you've killed it, it will drop um, a power-up. It could be an insta-kill. It could be uh, max ammo. It's going to be something really strong. Uh, we don't need insta-kill. So what I'm going to do is now is focus on melee and the backpack zombies to hopefully get a battery. Now, I know for a fact after scene 10, you will get batteries dropped a lot more often than the other rounds, which is pretty cool. But there's still a chance that you won't get a battery drop. So just make sure you only kill the zombies with backpacks. If zombies are in your way or they're just becoming an issue, go ahead and get rid of those things. It's not even an issue. And you see that first zombie I hit with a backpack dropped the battery. Now, I'm not sure if you have to wait until you fight the super croc to get the batteries deactivate because I tried every other round and it was not dropping batteries. What I went ahead and did now was kill my zombies down until I had a nice amount of zombies, not two zombies, but I don't want to try to go and activate these radios with a ton of zombies around me. And I'm also still trying to build my vial up for the third and final time. So I'm using my cleaver. I still have my slappy taffy on. So melee kills are still one hit kill. Uh, well into like scene 18 or 19. Not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of a lot more of these zombies. So then I can go ahead and take you guys to the two radio locations where you actually need to input the batteries. And hopefully get your, uh, get the correct chemical uh, formula for your reaction now there are two radios in this map like i said in a previous video but only one of the radios are going to actually give you the information that you need so i kill down to what four zombies remaining and i head out now the first radio location that i'm going to check is going to be over here by the electrical station in the corner of the electrical station, past the shopping cart, there'll be a radio on the ground. You might have come across it before, and it said um, it needs a battery. And now you have a battery. You can actually input uh, the battery into the radio and get its recording. I'm going to let these recordings play out so you can hear what they sound like. Now that first recording is an absolute red flag. If you activate your first radio and it's telling you exactly how to build a compound, 
Odds are you've placed a battery in the incorrect radio and you'll have to get an additional battery and place it in the other radio to actually hear the chemical compounds. What this radio is giving you is a bunch of baloney. It's just telling you how to build this, exactly how to build that, how to build that. That is the wrong radio. The radio that you want is going to give you advice on which chemical compound could be best used against the radioactive thing. It's not going to give you a bunch of exact build this, build that, use that. This is the wrong radio. So you really want to make sure that you do not kill all of your zombies because odds are you'll have to get another battery to place it into the radio. If you do have this radio and it is the, collect the correct radio, then you'll hear different recordings which will come up shortly in this video and I'll explain to you which one is the correct chemical compound you should build based off of what you hear in your radio. Now my plan at this point was to head back up to the train area, kill my last zombies, and then go another round killing down to four or five zombies, hoping to get another battery. But I got extremely lucky. As soon as I got up here, the zombies respawned in, and the first zombie that I encountered had a backpack. I melee killed this zombie, and it chops the battery. That's how I knew, okay, this run is meant to be, this clip is meant to be, I'm going to get both radio recordings in one clip nice work so if you do happen to get a second battery in the same round you want to input it into the second radio if not go ahead and kill your zombies and try again on the next scene killing the backpack zombies until you get another radio and then kill your zombies down to four or five zombies remaining if you do have a battery head over into the hotel area by the pool and then the small room where you got your multiplier number on the sofa will be another radio and this is what this sounds like Now, that's what you want to hear. You want to hear the chemical, co chemical compound that is best to destroy the radioactive thing. There's also a recording that'll say that this chemical give you more bang, the best bang for your buck, then that is the best chemical compound. All the other ones where he says has been or may not be good enough, those aren't the right ones. So once you hear something similar to that, that's the chemical compound you want to use. Hope you guys found this video helpful, man. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.